A former state cabinet secretary facing criminal charges. The scheme he's accused of running just ahead. Police make half a dozen arrests in raids following Tuesday's terror attacks in Brussels. Plus, we'll update you on the search for a missing couple with Lexington ties. The U.K. women's basketball team playing tonight in the Sweet 16. We have live coverage at Rough with a preview. This is WKYT News at 5. Serious charges this afternoon. The U.S. attorney in Lexington charging a former cabinet secretary in a bribery case. The allegations stem from when Timothy Longmire served as the secretary of the state's personnel cabinet. He most recently served as the state's deputy attorney general. WKYT's Kristen Kennedy is live at the federal courthouse in Lexington with our top story at 5. Amber, the U.S. Attorney's Office unsealed that criminal complaint today. Tim Longmire is facing a bribery charge, bribery involving federal funds. U.S. Attorney Kerry Harvey believes the scheme started back in 2011 when Tim Longmire was the state secretary of the personnel cabinet. That position oversees the Kentucky employee's health plan. We were provided information from someone uh, who was close enough to the situation uh, that they were aware that what was going on wasn't above board. FBI special agents claim a confidential source gave them the following information. Evidence that Longmire gave the source's employer, called LLC number one, special treatment. The complaint claims Longmire abused his authority over the Kentucky Employees Health Plan to persuade Humana and Anthem to hire and pay LLC number one for consulting services that included focus group testing and telephone surveys. It goes on to say Longmire gave specific written directions as to the amount that LLC number one should charge the health insurance company, the amount that LLC number one should kick back to Longmire, and the amount that LLC number one could keep. Payments were told were made during meetings outside of Kroger and Versailles and a McDonald's in Midway. The alleged misconduct represents a serious betrayal of the public trust with all of the consequent harm one would expect from such an occurrence. Longmire resigned from his current position as Deputy Attorney General earlier in the week. Attorney General Andy Bashir released a statement Friday afternoon that reads in part, to say I am disappointed or even devastated by these allegations is an understatement. And the criminal complaint deals with Longmire's work in the personnel cabinet. The U.S. attorney told us that he's not investing, investigating anyone in the attorney general's office. Live in Lexington, Kristen Kennedy, WKYT. Kristen, thank you. The U.S. attorney did say additional charges are possible. Belgian police making six arrests this morning in rage just outside of Brussels. It comes as they continue to hunt for the terrorists behind Tuesday's deadly bombings. Kenneth Craig is in Brussels with the latest developments. Cell phone video shows a man being dragged from a bus shelter in Brussels. Witnesses say police shot the man in the leg after telling him to stop. We heard two shots, five seconds between two shots. One small shot. And one big shot with a sniper because I see him from the windows. Police conducted a series of raids throughout the day and night, netting at least six arrests. Members of law enforcement are looking for two people one seen with the two suicide bombers at the airport, the other seen with the bomber at the subway station. Mason Wells is a 19 year old Mormon missionary who was severely burned in the airport bombing. I remember seeing, you know, fire in front of my face and also kind of fire down by, by my feet on the ground. And we were really close. I feel lucky to have escaped with what I did. Vigils like this one have become a nightly tradition here in Brussels as residents deal with the fear and grief. But not everyone is finding solace. Shirin Chaudhry says she doesn't let her daughter ride the metro anymore. Don't feel safe anymore any, in Belgium anymore, you know. And then when you see this, it, yeah. that only makes it worse. Yeah, yeah. It's getting worse day by day. And Belgian officials say the threat is not over. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, Brussels, Belgium. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack. In a new online video, the group warned that more targets would be hit. The U.S. confirming today American forces have killed a senior leader of ISIS. The man known as Haji Aman was the group's finance minister and considered the number two leader. 
Defense Secretary Ash Carter says the death will hinder ISIS operations in Iraq and in Syria. A Lexington native and her husband remain among those missing after Tuesday's attacks. Stephanie and Justin Schultz were in the Brussels airport when the bombs went off. WKYT's Garrett Weimer is at the live desk for us with an update on what their families are doing to try and find them. Garrett? Concern has turned to frustration for the families of Justin and Stephanie Schultz. The couple are still unaccounted for more than three days now since the terrorist attacks in Brussels, Belgium. Family members say they're not getting help from the Belgian government. Justin's brother said this morning their mother has now made it to Brussels to try to get answers. Betty Newsom, Stephanie Schultz's aunt, tells us Stephanie's dad arrived in Brussels early yesterday morning. Newsom says Stephanie's mom has been tired and frustrated, but did get her best sleep yet last night now that her husband is with her. But they claim Belgian officials are not working with the U.S. State Department to help them search or get answers. Newsom says now that Secretary of State John Kerry is in Brussels, they're optimistic that he'll help them get those answers. More on that coming up at 6. At the live desk, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. Garrett, thank you. Newsom says her son, who has military experience, is considering going to Brussels, too, to help with the search. Police and deputies will go head to head tomorrow, all for a good cause. Six departments will take part in the Battle of the Badges basketball tournament in Madison County. Our Mike Byers shows us how the proceeds will be used to honor a fallen Richmond police officer. This story is new at 5. Tomorrow afternoon, this gymnasium inside Madison Central High School will be packed with local law enforcement and basketball fans for the first annual Battle of the Badges basketball tournament. The Madison County Sheriff's Department is hosting the tournament. All proceeds will go towards sending local law enforcement to National Police Week in Washington, D.C., which is being held May 15th through the 21st. This is a time that is dedicated to honoring all law enforcement officers with a main emphasis in honoring those who have died in the line of duty. The basketball tournament will feature six teams from our local law enforcement community. They are the Berea Police Department, Eastern Kentucky University Police, Kentucky State Police, Madison County Detention Center, Madison County Sheriff's Office, and the Richmond Police Department. Madison County Sheriff's Deputy Michael Stotts is playing in the tournament. He says this year is very important for them to be at National Police Week. With us having lost Officer Ellis in, in November, uh, it's an increased significance for our officers to support Richmond Police Department and this community during this time. Now this will be a single elimination basketball tournament with the first game set to tip off at 2 p.m. In Richmond, Mike Byer, WKYT. And admission to watch the tournament is $5. Children 10 and under are free. Battle of the Badges t-shirts will also be available for $12. The UK women's basketball team, pretty exciting stuff, will be fighting to keep their final four hopes alive. They face Washington State tonight in the NCAA Sweet 16. And the good thing, it's being played right here in Lexington. WKYT's Christy Thomas is live at Rupp Arena with a preview. Christy? Hey guys, well we've been telling you how excited this team and the Big Blue Nation is about playing right here in Rupp Arena, but their opponent is excited as well. The Washington Huskies are about 2,500 miles away from their Seattle campus, but they're looking forward to playing on, on a court with so much history and tradition. That's thanks in large part to the fact that their coach, Mike Neighbors, gave them a really big history lesson before they got here in Lexington. I just explain to them how uh, tradition rich this area is with basketball, how supportive they are, how knowledgeable they are uh, about basketball uh, and how much it means to the student athlete experience. And I want our kids to soak it all in. Uh, I want them to experience every, every single part of this because you know, that's why they do it. And we do have four great teams here with, that can really exemplify good student athletes. Uh, when it comes to being on and off the court. It, obviously, this is a phenomenal facility and, and a great uh, city that just loves their basketball here. So um, it's nice to come in and uh, play in a place like this. Um, um, as a team, we're excited as well. You know, this is another challenge that we're going to have to face, and um, I'm excited to see how we overcome. It's a double dose of college basketball tonight as Kentucky is the first game at 7 o'clock. Then that's followed by top-seeded Notre Dame. They'll be taking on four-seed Stanford. So it should be a great night of women's college basketball. Several programs very rich in history and tradition when, uh, with women's basketball. So a lot of fun, and we'll have plenty of that coming up uh, at 6. And then, of course, tonight at 11 as well. Guys, back to you. Christy, thank you. Now, if you cannot make it to Rupp Arena, you can see that game on ESPN2 
at 7. And fans have been showing their support for the women's team. Some of them put up a sign in front of Coach Matthew Mitchell's home wishing the team good luck. Yesterday, Mayor, Mayor Jim Gray proclaimed it Blue and White Weekend in Lexington and encouraged everyone to wear UK colors to show their support. Spring is here, but we're not out of the woods just yet when it comes to the flu, the reason for the late peak in flu cases in better living. It is a chilly start to that Easter weekend, but I've got better temperatures in the forecast. We'll track that for you next. When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Push alerts now available on the WKYT News app. That's the sound of Sirius XM controlled by the largest touchscreen in its class. This is the sound of someone blowing past the last gas station for over 500 miles. That's the sound of four usually rowdy kids enjoying their favorite movie. And together, these are the sounds of a well-executed automotive symphony. Returning FCA US lessees can finance and get 6,500 total cash allowance on the purchase of the 2016 Chrysler Town & Country. We're walking the streets delivering a simple message. Where there's smoke, there could be fire. This is the start of a five-year program with our partner, Kentucky Power, to install smoke detectors in local neighborhoods. The smoke alarms are free. The only thing we ask is they let us show them how to use them. Doesn't matter how cold it is outside, how early they got up that morning, or how far they've walked, they know that they've possibly saved a life. We may be a power company, but the true power in our communities comes from our people. Make a fast break for great savings now. Big Blue Nation, it's Paul Miller Ford's Matchup Sales Event. Huge savings on Kentucky's most popular brand. 0% financing for 60 months available or lease for less. New 2015 Ford Focus, lease for only $139 per month on a 36-month lease. New 2016 Ford Fusions, lease for only $169 a month on a 36-month lease. New 2016 Ford F-150 is as low as $20,990. Point, click, drive. PaulMillerFord.com. What if it's my time? How would Julie and the kids get by? Would they be able to stay in the house? And why don't I have life insurance? It's not too late to get life insurance. Don't wait till it is. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. This is what precision feels like. Magnetic ride control actively monitors road conditions a thousand times per second to deliver a comfortable ride. A thousand times, huh? Yeah, per second. How about that? This is the new, meticulously crafted 2016 Sierra Denali from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. Now, during the GMC Pro Grade event, get nearly 8,300 total value when you trade up to the specially equipped 2016 Sierra Crew Cab SLT. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 981 The Bull. Now, your hour by hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. It's an overall ugly day out there to kick off that long holiday weekend. Easter weekend is here in this evening, looking downright chilly, filling the part out there as well. We look outside, compare temperatures now to when we were talking to you at the same point yesterday, and we are way, way colder. A lot of blue on the map. In some cases, greater than 20 degrees colder than at this same point yesterday. Low 40s into most of central and eastern Kentucky. A normal high right now is closing in on 60, if not a few low 60s across southern Kentucky. So we're 15 to 20 degrees colder than normal right now. As I was telling some students today, uh, there's really no such thing as normal anymore in weather around here. We're either up or we're way down. One of the reasons we're way down today, some clouds on a northwesterly wind. A little bit of sunshine trying to break out here across parts of northern Kentucky that extends back to the northwest with clearing skies. That clearing sky will be in here 
as we go through the day tomorrow. That's when the winds become southwesterly. And look what's coming from the southwest. A whole lot of nothing showing up across parts of the Mississippi Valley. So that is better weather blowing into town for your Saturday forecast. Hour by hour forecast through the evening with some of those high clouds getting on out of town. Tomorrow morning, readings will likely be 30 to 35 into many areas. So some frost is a possibility. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to make up for it. Plenty of sunshine, mid to upper 60s across the entire region. We go into our Saturday night. Sunrise services on Sunday morning. A lot of temperatures 45 to 50. Not too bad at all. Mainly clear skies. Notice how some clouds will increase. I think into the afternoon on Easter Sunday, there's a chance we hit the low and mid 70s if you get enough sunshine. But by the end of the day, a line of thunderstorms will likely sweep eastward across the region. That will carry us into the evening hours with chillier winds blowing in as we go into the start of your Monday. So that Easter Sunday breakdown with temperatures for sunrise services close to 50. Into the afternoon for those Easter egg hunts, you're talking 70 to maybe 75 degrees in most areas, but watch for a late day shower or thunderstorm. Try to plan those egg hunts into the early part of the afternoon because the deeper you get into the day, at least the better the chance of seeing, uh, seeing a shower or thunderstorm. Most areas will stay dry until the evening on Sunday. Monday's a chill down. Middle of next week, we'll make a run towards 70 potent thunderstorms, possible Thursday into Friday, and from there it is game on toward the potential for freezing conditions into the first week of April. Short term, though, it gets better after tonight. It has to get better. Yes. It's ugly. Yeah, yeah today right? was pretty dreary yeah, out there. Dreary. Not low, spring like at all. Low 40s. Yesterday we were mid and upper 60s. Wow. <laughs> Chris, thank you. Live look at Lexington rush hour traffic. A couple of collisions have popped up. One's at North Broadway and Loudon. That's an injury crash. Also one at Manowar and East Hills. Of course, sweep 16 traffic downtown right now. That's going to have an impact there for uh, the girls' basketball, so expect that. As far as drive times are concerned, we take the Nicholasville, and it's about 14 to 16 minutes uh, outbound to, uh, to Paris. Looks good on Paris Pike and North Broadway. Now back to the studio. Big Brother holding an open casting call for its next season. We'll show you who the crowd applied for and what they're trying to do coming up ahead. Five suspended police officers have filed a lawsuit to get their jobs back. We'll show you what the suit claims on WKYT News at 5.30. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking in overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. Make a fast break for great savings now. Big Blue Nation, Paul Miller's Mazda Madness has tournament time savings. New 2016 Mazda 6 sedans as low as $22 for $27 or least the less just $169 per month. New 2016 Mazda CX-5 as low as $23 for $42 or least for just $199 per month. Take advantage of 0% financing for 36 months. Make a fast break to Paul Miller's Mazda Madness. Point, click, drive. PaulMillerMazda.com. These creamery shakes are so rich and creamy. I know. Finally, a shake for an aficionado like myself. Wait, you're a shake aficionado? Not a shake aficionado. The shake aficionado. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Well, perhaps you could be one too. Go oh. ahead. Mm. It's a coolness. Cold. It's cold. Okay. Ice cream is cold. Stop the presses, guys. Ice cream is cold. Says Pete. Printed. New slow turned creamery shakes are here in premium flavors like bourbon brown sugar. And all shakes are half price after 8 p.m. This is how you Sonic. For less than the average price of a car, you could be driving an extraordinary Mercedes-Benz. One that shatters the standards of performance and shatters the limits of technology. The 2016 GLA, starting at just 32500 shattering expectations wherever it goes. Lease the GLA 250 for $349 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. I wasn't too thrilled about dentures, but I need to be able to chew. So I called Aspen Dental, they got me right in because my visit was long overdue. And no one on staff even made me feel bad that I had been in since the leg warmer bed. My new dentures came with a great guarantee, so this giant pretzel's got nothing on me. With dentures starting at $3.99 and a money-back guarantee, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN Dental. Building the only trucks with the best horsepower, best towing, 
best torque and best payload takes guts. Overcoming any obstacle, that's the glory. Get a great deal on the trucks that give you both during Ram Truck Month. Returning FCA US lessees finance and get 11,000 in total values on the purchase of a 2016 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. This week, from Opera Greats. I'm Placio Domingo. To a Broadway legend. I'm Audra McDonald, and I'm sharing some of my Broadway experiences. It's all on Jeopardy. Jeopardy, tonight at 7.30 on WKYT. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. A murdered mother and her children will remember today. Our county by county coverage begins in Jessamine County, where the funeral for Billy Joe Hedinger and her two children took place this morning. Police say Brad Hedinger shot the family at their Louisville home Sunday before setting fires inside and then taking his own life. Billy Joe and the children were buried at Camp Nelson. She's a native of Jessamine County. A minor died on the job in Harlan County today. A falling material hit and killed 48 year old Mark Frazier at the Huff Creek No. Number one mine in Holmes Mill. Frazier was performing mine maintenance work at the time. He was from Line Fork in Letcher County. And in Madison County, the Sheriff's Office is releasing some surveillance video to try and catch a couple of burglars. The Sheriff's Office says two people broke into the Dollar General store on Boonesboro Road yesterday morning. Video shows the pair break a display case and steal cigarettes. Deputies say one of the men wore red pants, a red shirt, and a red bandana over his face. The other had on blue jeans, a blue shirt, and a blue bandana over his face. This afternoon, hundreds of people came to Lexington for their chance to be on television. CBS reality show Big Brother held a casting call at the Sleep Outfitters store in Woodhill Plaza. As WKYT's Jim Caldwell shows us, some people traveled for hundreds of miles for today's audition. Big Brother 18 will begin airing on June 22nd here on WKYT. The only thing missing for the hit CBS show is a cast of characters. We certainly had them showing up today at our casting call where fans and hopeful candidates started lining up in the cold hours before the event started. But I love Big Brother. I'm like obsessed with it. So I just come up here to uh, apply for Big Brother again. This is like my third time I've tried. Some just came to be a good friend. I'm just here for moral support. <laughs> Um, I had a friend that wanted to come, and I said I'd tag along and do it as well. Kind of like the show, so I figured, what the heck. Others are already plotting. You hug someone with a knife in their back. <laughs> <laughs> Dozens of people have traveled from Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Tennessee, and of course, right here in Lexington, Kentucky, to try out for Big Brother 18. One thing for certain is the level of confidence in these players. I'm your typical stereotype, you know, country boy. I fish, I hunt. I've been down the Smoky Mountains. My motto for the community is snatching off my wig in a single bound, floating over the city on my hover round. I'll probably be one of the top picked. Really? I have confidence, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to collect my cash and go go home. <laughs> With so many entertaining folks showing up here today, let's hope one of them makes the final cut. In Lexington, I'm WKYT meteorologist Jim Caldwell. And there will be another Big Brother casting call in Bowling Green next Thursday. One WKYT hosted a Big Brother 18 casting call right. Why you still need to worry about the flu even though spring has arrived and the reason fruit juice might not be the best thing to serve your child. The story's next in Better Living. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. This time of year, everyone in the Lexington area is excited because they know it's time for the Burke Furniture March Markdown Madness Sale. Slam dunk huge savings up to 60% off in every department. A beautiful home begins at Burke's. Honda believes that your garage is what you make it. Looking good, Suzanne. So make it great with amazing deals on many Honda products, including the restyled Honda Accord. It's been on Car and Driver's 10 Best List a record 30 times and comes with a standard multi-angle rearview camera. The Honda Dream Garage sales event is happening now. Let's go. you got a garage to fill. Celebrate spring with a great deal on a restyled Accord. Now at your Honda dealer. 
Want to fill your garage with the best value brand in America that costs less than a competition? Honda's got it. During Honda's Dream Garage Sales Event, redesigned 2016 Civics, the number one selling compact car, just $179 a month. Or drive with zero down, zero security, and zero first month's payment. Civics, with available Honda Lane Watch, Brake Assist, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and more, just $179 a month or zero do it signing. Honda's got it at your Central Kentucky Honda dealers. Shouldn't you have a checking account that makes your life easier? Introducing Easy Checking from Republic Bank. Relax with no minimum balance or monthly maintenance fee. Use our free mobile app to easily send money with mobile pop money. You can even log into our app with a scan of your fingerprint or eye using iPrint ID. Easy Checking for your hard-earned money. We're Republic Bank, and it's just easier here. Sweet sound system and low APR. No, I don't live far. It's got tons of room. I do own a broom. This is pretty fun. Yeah? I've been thinking of growing a man bun. During the final days of the One for Everyone event, Toyota just announced 0.9 financing for 72 months on Corolla plus $500 bonus cash or a $159 a month lease. Thanks, Jan. No, it's Jan. Toyota, let's go places. Folks have been taking this short drive to satisfaction for over 20 years. Not only Winchester folks, but folks all across the state and even across the country. And who wouldn't come here with over 2,500 vehicles to choose from here in Winchester, Kentucky. No matter if it's 100 miles or the short drive from Lexington, our staff will help you start your journey. Tim Short Chevrolet. This time of year, everyone in the Lexington area is excited because they know it's time for the Burke Furniture March Markdown Madness Sale. Slam dunk huge savings up to 60% off in every department. A beautiful home begins at Burke's. It is time now for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. It's spring, and you'd think flu season is just about done, but you can't let your guard down just yet. As Brian Webb shows us, the Centers for Disease Control says flu season is peaking a little later than usual this year. 12-year-old Abigail Bergstrand was hit hard with the flu earlier this month. And the next day, I felt terrible. The next day, I felt terrible. Her fever got higher. Her energy level was almost non-existent. I was surprised it was the flu in March. The Centers for Disease Control reports flu activity has just started decreasing, but is reminding everyone they should still be taking precautions. <laughs> flu usually peaks in February, but this season is one of the later peaks on record. In the past 19 years, with this year included, we've only had three peaks in March. Um, and we've never had an April peak before. So this is a little bit later than normal. There have been a mix of flu viruses around this season, but the predominant strain has been the H1N1 virus. Preliminary vaccine effectiveness estimates for this year were close to 60%. So for flu, that's, that's really good. Abigail didn't have a flu shot. Her doctor prescribed the antiviral drug Tamiflu. Probably by the fifth day of her being sick, she was on the mend. Yes, and with the season not over yet, the CDC says we should all keep prevention in mind, washing hands and staying home when sick. Brian Webb for CBS News, Denville, New Jersey. The CDC classifies Kentucky as having widespread cases of the flu right now. A new study finds many of the fruit drinks and juices you find in stores contain a day's worth of sugar in a single serving. Study authors say it's a concern because the drinks appear healthier than soda or other sweetened drinks. They recommend giving your child fresh fruit, choosing unsweetened juices, or diluting sweetened ones with water and limiting their amount to five ounces a day. Now, here's what's coming up for you at 530.